Hello Sustainable High Altitude Gardeners! In this short video I'm going to show you how I made my garden map for Module 1. And I'm working in PowerPoint. I'm most familiar with PowerPoint so I started a slide show and um, I used my snipping tool on my computer. I accessed Google Maps and I found my property and I snipped out a picture from Google Maps of my property and put it here in the slide. And then I uh, used the format picture tools to um, fade out the picture. So it was not so boldly colored um, and I could draw over it. So that's what I ended up with when I faded out the color. And then up here I used the drawing tools in the toolbar to color in the spaces that I know are my garden beds to outline them, excuse me, and to mark off the raised beds in my house. And then I use the crayon tool up there to kind of color in where I know there's canopy. And you can see this is very elementary stuff. I just looks like a child's drawing, but it does the job and it is, you know, two scale, which will be important later. Um, <clears throat> Then I went through and I looked at the map and I just annotated it with uh, things that I know about being in my garden. So I indicated where north, east, south, and west were. And I um, marked what it was. You know, was it my house? This is a spruce tree. This is a crab apple. There's the playhouse of the chicken house. Um, and my bit raised beds are over here. And these are some suckering aspens, aspens, so we're like training a young little aspen forest right here. I tried to note where there's some ecological things that I know about, like where it's dry and where it's sunny and where it's shady. Um, and then I just keyed it out here at the bottom. And then that's it. That's as far as I got um, in module one. But I made some extra copies of the blank map because as we move along, we'll want to annotate these slides in different ways. Like we might want to put little X marks and then down here say, oh, in the X, that's where my native plants are going to go. And in the Y, that's where my, you know, greens are going to go or my herbs. So um, we're really going to focus on all the floristic plants in the landscape being natives, but we will also leave room for edible gardening because that's a very important part of sustainability. So be sure to copy out a couple of these base slides so you can use them in future projects. I look forward to talking to you and uh, let me know if you have any questions.